former UFC flyweight champion Davison Figueredo, a guy who still can lay claim to be one of the best flyweights in the world, but a lot of people want to see if he can have success at bantamweight as well and not have to deal with that treacherous weight. Well, Figueredo's one of those guys that you look at him and you feel this guy has a future in the weight class up, and his skills should translate to that weight class. He has been at 125. He has been the champion. He has not been the champion. He has shown an ability to get there, lose it, get back there. But tonight, if he wants to start working his way back to a championship, he has got to win. And how do you do that? Figueredo does that by using that tremendous power he possesses in his hands. And he has also bounced around to try to get different looks and training. Really thoughtful guy, student of the game. And all eyes once again on Davis and Figueredo here tonight. Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. If it is a first. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Davison Dodegero Figueredo! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Well, wherever in the world you may be playing, EA Sports UFC 5, good on you for putting this matchup together. Davison Figueredo, Demetrius Johnson at flyweight, the fight that we didn't know we needed. This is a great fight. Yes, two of the best flyweights of all time. Demetrius Johnson may just be the most skilled mixed martial artist you have ever seen. And Davison Figueredo is a Brazilian powerhouse. He can knock you out. He can submit you. He can do everything. So you didn't get to see this in your life. So I'm happy to get to see it in EA Sports UFC 5. fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as it starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power, from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, the of the weight class are going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Trying to hammer that big leg. That was a solid punch. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice counter shot there. Johnson gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Side control now. 
busy as he looks to improve position here. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submission or big ground and pop. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. He passed the half guard. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Figueroa. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by DJ. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Good, solid strike on the ground. Johnson getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Oh, it lands a huge knee to the body. Leg kick lands. Demetrius circles out. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to take down that finish. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you get up that underhook, your opponent... Johnson's looking for that arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work, and you'll get the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. He threw it by knee and it landed to the head. Figueredo going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Ooh, uppercut. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Effective punch from the clinch there by Johnson. Some separation. Points out for the end of round one. This is a really close fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this cliff for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, Superman punch. Figueredo gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Whiffs on the right hand. Slips. Punch, punch, punch. 
I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Back to the jab now. Oh, he lands a hook. All right, so some definite damage under the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. Oh! Just missed with the elbow there. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm close. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, oh! while both of them are landing massive shots. range with that kick attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lead kick is true there by Johnson. Three minutes to go. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming in. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a kick. Big shot to the head. Right, another strike to the body. Continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell. They had a game plan. Invest in the body early. And let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, we can start to see it's paying dividends. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. He's got his foot on the hips. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Look for him to try to move the arm across so that he can start to head pressure down. Fighter try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He got it. He got him so many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. This is some exhausting work. You know I mean? oh, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal. Oh! Strikes continue to land. Johnson's trying for a submission here. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, that's gotta be it. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox somehow got out though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel Trump attempt. Figueredo getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnson. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that.
for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the third round for the winner by submission. And... 